Hello my beautiful friends and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Sandra and I'm a watercolor artist, online teacher and creative business coach. And in this video, I like to paint easy and fun cats with you with watercolor. And it's going to look something like this. And this is something that you can do as well. It's very easy, it's a lot of fun. And it doesn't matter whether you are a beginning artist or intermediate or professional. It's just about having a fun time, a mindful experience. So I suggest that you grab your art supplies and we are going to get started. Let's have some fun. Let's start with a white piece of watercolor paper and an HB pencil and outline the cat's shape. This is a very easy shape and you must not think about it too much. Just some pointy ears and some lines for their body. And if you make a mistake, you can easily erase it. Use a soft eraser on your watercolor paper. So you may have noticed that I have speeded up the process because this is a very time consuming exercise. I just want you to take your time and pause the video whenever necessary. But otherwise this is going to be a very lengthy video. And as you can see, the things you need to do are pretty basic. First the outline of the cats, then the outline of the ears, and then draw in and doodle in some eyes. You can have some example eyes, get them from the internet somewhere, or just follow my lead. And you can also just have your mind empty and just doodle a bit without thinking about it. That is what I think makes this exercise a lot of fun and very mindful. It's also a way to really boost your creativity. So after the eyes it's time to draw in those cute noses. Keep it fun and keep it playful. All cats are different and it doesn't need to be perfect. And once we're done with the drawing, I'm going to grab my kneading eraser and lift off the excess pencil lines from the paper. So this way, when the end result with the watercolor paint, when it's finished, you don't see the pencil lines or you at least see less of it. And it's personally what I love more. So I just pr press my kneading eraser on the paper and lift off the pencil lines. So make sure that you can still see a bit of your lines, don't erase everything. And then grab your watercolor paint. I always like to wet it first to activate the paint. And then this is the moment to grab your colors and mix and match however you like to. And what I personally like to do when my watercolor paint is still wet is to add in some extra pigment or even a different color. And then when the paint dries, you get this really cool effect. What I also like to do is first paint around the edges. So inside the pencil lines, it's really just like a coloring sheet. And then I wet my brush and go create a softer wash towards the inside of the cat. So you see that my cats are a bit darker on the outside or along the outside and lighter in the middle. And I like to add the darker pigment at the bottom of the cats at this point because then you see it is a shade. I also like to look at the colors that I have already used and then try to add a different color that is balanced with the current situation of the cats. So I really want to have all kinds of colors and mix it so that it's just, it looks like a beautiful composition. And not that you have got all the green ones somewhere and all the pink ones somewhere. I, I personally really love to mix this. 
So this is also the part that is taking most of the time. So if you are doing this process, you can also put on a nice Netflix series or some music and just enjoy the relaxing exercise and at the same time have a boost of your creativity because that is what this exercise does at least for me I become playful and like to play around with the colors and the paint I don't really need to think too much about this it's a really nice way to get out of a creative block and I have already so many ideas of other animals I like to try this with. Could be a bit more challenging. For example, I would like to try this with foxes, but then I need to think how I can really make them look like foxes. That's probably going to work. And if I do that, I of course will also create and post a video of it. So just keep an eye out on my channel and it's going to be all right. So it's also fun when the paint's still wet, you could even already add in some darker stripes. They are not going to be crisp. They are going to spread out as the paint dries, but still it gives a really fun texture of the cat. But keep in mind that once the paint is dry, we are going to add some details and we are going to add stripes and spots and everything on the cats as well. You don't want to wet, use too much water on your brush because then the paper gets too wet. It's something that I sometimes tend to do when I like to add in colors because I really love the flow of the paint and see the colors blend in together. But because then I add so much paint, I also add so much water and the paint gets too, or the paper gets too wet and wobbly. If you notice this, that is happening for you, that your paper is getting wobbly because of the water, it could also be that you don't use the right paper. Make sure that you work with watercolor paper that is a heavy weight, like uh, I believe 140 pounds or 300 grams per square meter. That's like the minimum for painting with watercolor. And then there's also the texture. I really love to paint on paper with a rough texture that doesn't necessarily have to do anything with the way that the paper absorbs the water, but it does have an effect in the way that the colors blend together. And I really love to see the texture of the watercolor. So at this point, I just like to say, enjoy this part of the process and yeah, make it something really beautiful and colorful. When you have colored in all the cats, it's time to first make sure that the cats have completely dried before moving on to this next step of adding some details. 
first of all painting the eyes and the ears and the nose and the cheeks and of course adding some extra stripes you can decide to do this in a specific order or just to move from cat to cat or mix it around you can look at the color you have on your brush and decide which small little areas you like to paint in with that again a very playful and mindful exercise and it doesn't need to be perfect just think about the color that you think looks prettiest with the other color already on your paper I like to use indigo blue for the really dark details in the eyes and on the noses. I prefer indigo over black anytime when it comes to watercolor. This is again a very nice mindful exercise. Take your time for this and once you think you're finished, please screen all your cats carefully because I noticed that I missed a few eyes and noses at some point. So I already have some striped cats, but I like to add some more details on my cats. So adding the spots and the big stripes, smaller details. And I really love at this point how the cats are coming together. Every cat is different and it's really, really something that I enjoy to create like this. So when you have any questions about the materials that I use or the techniques or anything else, please don't hesitate to ask your question in the comments and I always love to respond and tell you everything. At this point my cats have dried again and what I personally love to do lately is use pencil to add this extra pencil texture on top of my illustrations. So I've got this orange pencil that I use on the yellow, red and orange cats and you might not see it but if it would be close up you can really see the gentle pencil texture. So I'm not putting a lot of pressure on my pencil here. And now with pink I like to add texture on some cats as well, as well as paint or <laughs> paint draw in some stripes on top of the darker colors and I really love the way this comes together it really is becoming a very playful and colorful illustration and if you don't like to do this this that's totally fine it's optional it's just a lot of fun So at this point I decided to use a black marker to emphasize the eyes and the noses and the mouths of the cats because I really felt like they could use some expression.
And when you're ready with this part, then grab a smaller fine liner or marker and draw in those whiskers. And at this point, they truly are becoming beautiful cats. As a last finishing touch, you can use a white marker, gel marker or some gouache and a really small brush to add in dots in the eyes of the cats. And then the cats are finished. And I really hope that you enjoyed this process. And I can't wait to see what you've created. I really hope that you liked this video and that you are happy with the result of your painting. Of course, I would love to see your creation. So please share it on Instagram and tag me at Sandra Art Studio. And of course, if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. And please, if you didn't already do so, subscribe to my channel so that you can see when more content comes available. And if you like to follow more of my watercolor tutorials, please check out my channel because there is much more and more content is created every week. So thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one.